Hello! Welcome to Cooper and the Muses YouTube channel where we have lots of fun creating art, making crafts, and conducting science experiments. Today we're going to make snowflakes, but first I'm going to tell you a little about them. Snowflakes fall from the clouds when the temperature outside is below freezing. Snowflakes form when water vapor freezes to dust or pollen in the atmosphere to make a tiny ice crystal. The tiny ice crystals then stick together to make a unique six-sided snowflake. Now let's get started making our own one-of-a-kind snowflakes. Okay, here's what you need. A measuring cup, scissors, string, skewers, pipe cleaners, a glass or jar you don't care about, and borax. The first step is to cut out the pipe cleaners to make this little snowflake. You will then attach it to the string and soak it in the borax. Take the two pipe cleaners and put them together in the shape of an X. And then twist one around the other one, just like that. Take the third pipe cleaner and place it in the center. Then twist it around the center, just like this. And now you have a six-sided snowflake. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the string to the snowflake. So we're just gonna tie a couple of knots so that it's nice and tight because we don't want it to fall off. So you can repeat that process as many times as you want so you can create lots of snowflakes. So now you need to boil two cups of water. Now that our water has come to a boil, we're going to measure out a third of a cup of borax. We're going to dump the borax into the boiling water. And then we're going to grab a spoon and we're going to stir it until it's dissolved. There we go, I can't see it anymore, so I think it's dissolved. Okay, so now we're going to put the boiling water inside this glass. I would have your mom or dad pour the water because it's very, very hot. Now you'll take the skewer and tie on your snowflakes. Make sure you do a double knot because you do not want your snowflake to fall off. I'm gonna put two on here. There we go. I have my two snowflakes. And now I'm gonna dip them into the water. You want to be careful so that it's not touching too much of the sides, because anywhere it touches, there won't be crystals. You want it in the center of the cup. Okay, all that's left to do is to put your snowflakes inside the refrigerator. We're gonna leave it overnight, and tomorrow when we wake up, there's gonna be crystals all over our snowflakes. Good morning, kids. Let's see if we have crystals on our snowflakes. Oh, wow, look at that. Isn't that neat? Oh, they're so pretty. Aren't they amazing? Now you can display them in the window or hang them on the Christmas tree. I had so much fun making snowflakes with you. If you had fun too, please like the video below and share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, please buy my book, Moose Mischief, A Pancake Surprise. 